The United Nations is also among those that criticize President Duterte's bloody anti-drug war. Robbie Alampay spoke with Olivier Lerme, regional advisor of the UN Office on Drugs and Crime for Southeast Asia and the Pacific. He said the drug problem is not unique to the Philippines and that the country should learn how to deal with it from others' experiences. Here is the first part of that interview. We have been observing an increase of um, production, trafficking, and drug use in the last years, a, a very sharp one. So that from that point of view, the Philippines is not the exception. Why is this happening? We can see that to produce uh, opium or opiates or heroin, it needs to be botanically grown, right? You need a special, uh, a special uh, terrain, uh, some level of, of light, etc. So it had to be produced in some specific uh, uh, areas of the region. The other factor that is uh, triggering that increase of trafficking, uh, production and trafficking, is the uh, interconnectivity of uh, ASEAN. Today we were here for a regional meeting. Uh, we can see that uh, ASEAN has been is a fantastic. Uh, development in terms of economic progress, trade, exchange of goods and movement of goods and persons. Well, that movement is, of course, facilitating the trafficking. So that means that we have a very constant uh, trend, regardless of the level of uh, law, law enforcement efforts and the nature in each country. And this trend seems is here to stay. What we recommend is really uh, going after the big traffickers. Uh, there are very little big, big, big uh, uh, drug lords that have been arrested in the region in, in the recent years. Um, so to do that, there is a need to uh, have a, a sharp uh, uh, law enforcement response, which means uh, following the money trail, uh, looking after the corruption, the money laundering. So this requires some capacities, and, and we're supporting that at, at the regional level. Another element in terms of uh, uh, addressing the supply is uh, addressing the chemical precursor uh, uh, movements uh, that are needed to produce drugs. There is uh, uh, currently not enough efforts in that direction. But um, most import importantly, and this is also aligned with uh, the global uh, discussion about drug policy, first, uh, of course, there is a need to try to prevent people from uh, using drugs. What we recommend instead is transi transitioning towards voluntary uh, community-based services for drug users. Um, this is very important because one of the main factors of success for someone uh, to treat his dependence or to not uh, become dependent is the person. Drug dependence is a chronic, uh, relapsing and treatable uh, condition often uh, occurring uh, together with a ment mental health condition. So the idea is that sometimes the person who is going to try to uh, get out of that uh, dependence is likely to relapse, which means to, get, to be back at some stage to uh, using the substance or to not follow the treatment protocol properly. Well, when this happens, what is needed is more support. What can the Philippine war on drugs learn from the experiences in Thailand, Indonesia, and past campaigns in ASEAN? This is also something that has been discussed uh, globally. Um, last year, we had what we call the UN General Assembly on special session on the drug problem. And those issues were mentioned by uh, countries like Thailand, but many other countries that have been uh, leading in the past uh, very strong-handed uh, approaches to, to the drug problem, like uh, Colombia, Guatemala, Mexico. And they all came back with the same uh, conclusion, that added to the issues I was mentioning for the prison system, it kind of fueled in those countries uh, more corruption, more violence, uh, more law enforcement uh, uh, victim of this, um, judiciary and the threat. So they, they have said that they wanted to rediscuss this a little bit at the global level. So th those global discussions took place uh, in April uh, this year. And, well, there cannot be a total consensus on all those aspects. But countries have agreed that there is a need to put the people uh, at the center. That it's not only about seizures, it's about uh, limiting the negative consequences of that uh, uh, drug uh, problem. It's about protecting individuals, their families, their communities, their societies. And that, in most cases, the agreement is that 
as there is a need again to focus on, on a health approach to those issues.